This weekend, you're going to want to keep an eye to the sky for a total lunar eclipse. Fox 35 Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Jamie King is going to tell us more yeah. about this. Hi, Jay. Uh, Amy, good morning to you. Yeah, it's called the flower moon, and the moon will appear 7% larger. All this is going to be happening as we take it in the Sunday night at about 1045 on Sunday. Now, the window of opportunity isn't going to last all that long. It looks like, again, from roughly around the 1130 p.m. time frame Sunday to about 1 a.m. Monday will be prime time view, and then back to boring mode here in the moon here back to normal view at about 145 in the morning on our Monday. Joining us now to talk more about the eclipse is NASA expert Michelle Thaler. The moon has a special treat for sky watchers this weekend. What makes Sunday night's moon so special and good morning to you by the way. Good morning, and yes, it is going to be a very special treat. So I actually think the moon looks really beautiful anytime you see it. Uh, but this Sunday, when the Earth and the moon and the sun all line up in space, it will be really incredible. So around 10.30 p.m. Eastern, the moon will begin entering to the deepest part of Earth's shadow. So it'll start looking like there's a bite taken out of it. And then, as you said, around 11.30, the moon is going to pass into the deepest part of Earth's shadow, and then it will turn that brilliantly bright coppery red color until around 1 a.m. And so it's going to be a great wow. show. A very impressive look there and I get a lot of excitement. Hopefully locally skies are nice and clean and clear, Michelle, for optimal viewing. Michelle, let me ask you, how does our moon help us better understand other planets and moons in our solar system? Can you talk about that? Sure. So our moon is a place that hasn't had a whole lot going on in the past four and a half billion years. We have had volcanic eruptions, lots of impact craters, and, and lots of really neat activity with water moving around the surface even today. But a lot of it's really pristine. So we're able to look at a record from today back about four and a half billion years on the surface. So when we're looking at other moons and planets in our solar system, or even when we start seeing surfaces of exoplanets, we're really looking to the moon to understand what we're seeing on those other planets and moons. And what makes Sunday night's moon so special? There's been a lot of chatter on the social platforms, a lot of people anxious. It's going to be late at night, so obviously folks are going to have to perform the old night owl routine here and be, maybe be a little tired for work and uh, school on Monday morning. But what makes this so special? There's been so much chatter about this lately. Yeah, it's, it's that lunar eclipse. So seeing the moon turn that bright coppery red color is not something that we get to see all the time. These eclipses happen, we get a lunar eclipse about every six months, but mm -hmm. only about one in three of them are total lunar eclipses. And that's really wonderful. We also have great viewing on the East Coast. We'll see the entire eclipse right. um, from early stages until the very end. So that's that's really wonderful. That's tremendous. All righty, well, are you gonna stay up late? Be honest, what are you doing? What are your plans? I will be. I'm actually going to be answering questions. If you send Ooh. questions to Ask NASA on social media, uh -huh. I and my colleagues will be helping answer your questions about the eclipse while it's happening. Awesome. Michelle Fowler, thank you so very much. Uh, happy moon gazing, and hopefully it's a dandy here on the East Coast. Excellent. I hope so. Take Alrighty. care. All right.